Now, many world leaders have come forward to express sorrow and sent their sympathy to the victims and their families. The U.S. President Donald Trump called the incident an act of pure evil and said that he planned to meet with law enforcement, first responders and the families of the victims. My fellow Americans, we are joined together today in sadness, shock and grief. Last night, a gunman opened fire on a large crowd at a country music concert in Las Vegas, Nevada. He brutally murdered more than 50 people and wounded hundreds more. It was an act of pure evil. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are working closely with local authorities to assist with the investigation, and they will provide updates as to the investigation and how it develops. The British Prime Minister Theresa May spoke with the U.S. President and offered assistance in the investigation if needed. Well, I've just spoken to President Trump to pass on my condolences and that of the whole country uh, upon this appalling attack that has taken place in Las Vegas. This was an individual shooting randomly, a completely senseless and cowardly attack, and so many people have been killed and injured. And our thoughts and prayers are with all those who've been victims of this terrible attack. Also, the French President Emmanuel Macron also paid homage to the victims of the Las Vegas attack. Une pensée également émue pour nos, nos amis américains qui ont eu à subir eux aussi la violence contemporaine à Las Vegas il y a quelques heures. Meanwhile, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Russian President Vladimir Putin also spoke with the American President. The former President Barack Obama tweeted, and I quote, Michelle and I are praying for the victims in Las Vegas. Our thoughts are with their families and everyone enduring another senseless tragedy, end quote. Lars Lurke Rasmussen, the Prime Minister of Denmark, wrote, and I quote, horrified by the brutal shootings in Las Vegas, my condolences and deepest sympathy to the victims, the wounded and their loved ones, end quote.